and lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis as Columbus sets sail on a voyage of science to the space station. My name is Compton Tucker. I'm a NASA Goddard Earth scientist. I had the privilege of working with Pierce Sellers. Okay, here goes. Uh, this is Pierce Sellers on board Space Shuttle Atlantis. Piers uh, uh, was a very dear friend of mine over uh, uh, more than 35 years. Piers was an Earth scientist and an astronaut. He was also my coworker, my best friend, my roommate, and my neighbor. We worked together on several things, published probably 10 or 15 papers together. Because Piers was working on the theory of what I was doing using data for meteorological satellites. You can describe Piers to people who, who never had the pleasure of meeting him, I think by five words, kindness, wit, intelligence, and monkey business. He could always see the funny side of any situation. He took several mementos of mine into space for me. He, he took a CD called Talking Timbuktu into space. Uh, and then another time he took two of the medals I had won for scientific research into space. Somewhere over the Pacific Ocean right now to all my friends at Goddard Space Flight Center. Um, I, mi I wish I could have brought all of you up here with me. I went to all of his launches, and I would sit with his family, especially with his mother, and sort of help her understand things. And I think that was one of the things which comforted Pierce because he didn't want his mother to be nervous about his space flight. Both Piers and I, and many other people who work for NASA, are driven by scientific curiosity. One of the discussions we had back at Goddard about how the planet really works, it's extraordinary to see it from up here, working as a complete whole. All the, uh, the atmosphere moving, twisting and turning, the ocean, it's just beautiful. When he realized what his diagnosis was, um, he, he, he realized the odds were strongly against him, and he probably only had about a year to live. He said he was going to do all he could to contribute to climate science, to preserving the Earth, to satellite observation, things like this. And it really brings it together in my mind. So I reckon I'm going to come back from this experience with just a new take on the way the Earth system operates. He wanted people to treat him as they always had. And so as hard as that was for us all, that's what we did. And then if we needed to cry, we would just cry later when we weren't in his presence. For all of us in Earth Science at Goddard, we miss Pierce Sellers deeply. I think Pierce was an inspirational leader. He led from the front. He led by doing. Whenever I think of Piers, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very encouraged to do my best. Also to be more tolerant, uh, to practice kindness and wit. And I hope to show that, share that with you very soon. And in the meantime, greetings from 240 miles up. And uh, I look forward to seeing you. Bye-bye. Pierce Sellers passed away in 2016 after battling pancreatic cancer. He was an earth scientist, and his work continues to drive the conversation on climate change. Before Pierce passed away, he had a lot to say about his best friend Compton, too. Here he is in an interview from 2016. I've known Tucker, it seems like forever, and we've worked together and laughed together and drunk together for, for I don't know, 30 something years now. Um, it's been the most wonderful friendship and scientific collaboration that I can imagine. This story was produced at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center by Katie Atkinson and Michaela Sosby.